Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. I'm gonna get a message out for you guys. I hope the messages does resonate in every week, which way or form they need to resonate for you. If you liked my vibe, give this video a thumbs up, y'all. And also, leave me a comment down below and let me know if the message does resonate, okay? Let me give y'all a little boom, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Y'all, I hope everybody is having an amazing day, y'all. Y'all know it's that lit oh Monday, okay? Lit Monday, okay? Even though it's the beginning of the work week, but I don't know. For some reason, my Mondays be lit because my Mondays go fast for me. I don't know about y'all. I hope we do, but yeah, my Mondays be fast for me, you know. Um, What I did want to say, y'all, listen, if anybody ever... Put somebody up over y'all, made y'all feel small, made y'all feel less important, chose somebody else, whatever the case may be, make them motherfuckers stand on it, okay? Make them stand on it. And that's all I gotta say. <laughs> so let's get right into this reading, y'all, okay? Let's get right into this reading. What are the messages? Ooh, first one out, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Healing, loving, caring energy. Yes. Let me not get too excited. Oh. We got the Six of Pentacles. Okay. We got the Queen of Swords. Okay. We got the Seven of Cups. Oh, oh, okay. We got the temperance coming out as well. <clears throat> and we got the two of pentacles. Oh, wait. We got the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. Y'all, great overall energy. Yes. Y'all are no longer like giving out your energy, your healing energy at that. Your energy, just like you guys have like a really, really strong boundary up. I don't know what you guys have been through. Pretty sure it's it's, it's been some stuff, okay? Everybody been through something. But y'all are no longer just giving out your energy. You're really, you got your sore up. Like, listen, if you're not coming correct, don't come at all. And this is, this is the overall energy, you can find yourself having a lot of opportunities right now. Like, are you doing with this temperance card and the two of pentacles? You're like, if, if it's not going to benefit me, if it's not going, if it's going to make me feel bad other than good, you're not putting up with it. And this is what I'm seeing. You're a very giving person, but I feel like you've been through something that... You still got this in you. You still this queen of cups. But now you just like, look, they looking at each other. Okay. Now you neck to neck with that. I'm still loving. I'm still, I'm still, you know, caring and things of that nature. But listen, when it comes to giving, yeah, you're thinking twice. <laughs> okay. You're thinking twice about it because you all you want is peace right now. And you could have a lot of options right now and you could be juggling, trying to weigh them out. Like, or this could even be your life. You're juggling, you know, not like juggling, but juggling like you're cleaning up your, your life, basically. What you want and what you don't want is what I'm getting. Ten of Cups, yeah, that's what I'm getting. So... What's going on, y'all? It's straight to the point energy. What's this Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles? Oh, we got the Five of Swords. What's this Five of Swords? We got the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Like, you're in your bag. You're out the mess. You're not worried about nobody but yourself. You're not worried about competing with anyone. You're not worried about arguing with anyone, going back and forth with anyone. Like, you're literally trying to clean up your life. This is, okay, this reading is about you. 
cleaning up your life. Like you're blocking out anything that does not serve you. I love it. What's the five of swords? We got the two of cups. What's this two of cups? Oh, shoot. We got the king of cups in the reverse. We have the six of wands in the reverse. And we have the world in the reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We're in the world. Okay. You could have dealt with somebody who was like emotionally vacant as well. Um, that could have put you in this energy. They just kind of made you feel like you weren't good enough or... Maybe you weren't, um, I'm not going to say popular. What um, word am I looking for? Like, you weren't, you didn't fit the criteria that they wanted you to fit. For example, like, maybe if this, and I'm going to use materialistic as an example. Maybe if this person was materialistic and you weren't, this is what I'm saying. Like, you didn't fit their criteria or whatever, but... It seems like to me with the world in the reverse, whoever this person was that you dealt with does not want a cycle to end between y'all. Hmm. We gonna figure that out. But yeah, Tower wanna show his face. Something definitely changed with you. Like, I don't know if it was this relationship that made you look at things differently. I mean, and not not loving people or wanting to be in a relationship maybe could be could be not but it just like changed you it made you feel like or not even make you feel like it made you open your eyes make you see stuff for what it is instead of oh well i see the potential in you no show me the potential in you is what is what i'm getting what's this queen um of swords and the seven of cups because you're not playing with nobody is what i'm getting <clears throat> We got the two of wands coming out. What's the two of wands? We got the will of fortune. Mm, what's the two of wands and the will of fortune? We got the strength. So we got the hermit as well. So you're planning something right now, or you did. You're And whatever you're planning, it's going to go in your favor with the strength. Whatever you're planning, okay? The will of fortune and the strength, it's going to go in your favor. Whatever you're planning, um, whatever options that you may have that you're planning with, because you're thinking about it, like you're really thinking about it. And this is what I'm saying with the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, you really did do some sorrow searching. And like, I think people are viewing you as you used to be this queen of cups, which you still are in the inside, but I feel like you wore it on the outside. Now you're this queen of swords on the outside. Like, listen, come correct or don't come at all. And I feel you, okay? What's this strength? I like this, y'all. I like this. I feel like I'm reading myself. We got the Knight of Wands. Yeah. We got the Four of Cups. Like, it's something that you don't see coming, though. It's like an opportunity that you don't see coming. You could be planning something right now. And not thinking that it's going to blow up. But honey, it's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. Okay? What's this temperance and the two of pentacles? We got the moon. And what's this moon? Ooh. We got the magician in the reverse. And we got the eight of cups in the reverse. Oh, Okay. We got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the day. What's going on here? Somebody, somebody out there <laughs> right now, they you could be thinking if you should give somebody else a chance. Um, it could even be a family member as well with the Ten of Pentacles being here. You could be juggling, like, 
to see if you should give somebody else a chance. Like, one more try. This person could be manipulative as well with the magician and the reverse. Along with this moon. You kind of feel like... Because the moon is clarifying the temperance. So, it's like... This person could come off like they're peaceful and, you know, things of that nature... But you feel like it's a hidden side to them. Like, maybe they were manipulative. And you feel like, okay, this person is coming off like they're cool and calm and collected. Like, maybe they change. But it's like something is, like, really making you feel like this person is still manipulative, for real. And you're, like, juggling the fact if you want to give them a second chance or... Because this doesn't have to be a love situation. This could be family, like I said, with the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This could be family. This could be a friend. What's this moon and the magician in the reverse? Somebody is, like, contemplating all that if they should give somebody a chance or not. Or a last try, another try, one last chance. We got the chariot in the reverse. And we got the eight of swords in the reverse. We got the page of swords at the bottom of the day. This, you could also be thinking that if you did give this person a chance, that it's not going to go anywhere. You can be thinking that as well. You can also be thinking that. See, it's like you're stuck in between the two. It's like you don't know what to believe. This is crazy, y'all. This reading is about y'all. This is so crazy. You don't know what to believe. Like, you don't know if you should, if you shouldn't. Like, you don't know what to believe, though. You want to, but it's like, it's something this person's done in the past that's making you like, did they really change? Or is they just, you know what I'm saying, coming off? You feeling like it's not going to go nowhere. But with this Eight of Swords in the reverse, I feel like you're, you're on the fence. Like, you, you're you on the fence. What's this Eight of Swords in the reverse? Oh, we got the Ace of Wands in the reverse. We got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like... You being indecisive, you could be delaying some sort of... So, uh, <laughs> can't even talk. You really feel like this person brought you delays in the past as well. They could have hurt you as well. That's why you're so indecisive. What's the Eight of Cups in the reverse? We got the Ace of Swords and we got the King of Pentacles. We got the Ten of Wands. This person could have really stressed you out. You can know the truth about this person. Um, this person could really be like a good investor as well. And that's why it's probably very, dis you're very decisive. Like, hmm. What's this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords? What's this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords? We got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We got the Eight of Pentacles. And what's the Ace of Cups in the reverse? You felt like this person didn't pour into you the way that you poured into them? What's this Ace of Cups in the reverse? We got the Three of Swords. And that was kind of like heartbreaking for you. <clears throat> With the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Listen to your intuition. Like don't go back and forth with your intuition. If your intuition is really telling you like nah I don't. Mm -mm. Mm. Then listen to it. Don't go against it because then you're going to be like damn. I was being nudged and I gave this motherfucker a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I gave this person a chance and they did exactly what I thought they were going to do. You know what I'm saying? So listen to your intuition when it comes to that. Let's get back over here to this uh, this relationship that turned you into a queen of swords, honey. 
Okay, what's this two of cups and this uh, king of cups in the reverse? Ooh, that flipped out. Ooh, nine of cups in the reverse. Yeah, like I was saying, this person that you were in a relationship with, dealing with, could have even been in a relationship. You could have just been dealing with this person. They, like, held back, like, emotions for you. This person was emotionally vacant. Like, they didn't they didn't show love. I honestly, with the Ten of Swords, I feel like they didn't even know how to show love, honestly. Like, you went through something with somebody that changed the way, and not changed the way you see things in a bad way. It kind of, like, like a life lesson taught you, like, Okay, I cannot be this Karen to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It kind of put, it kind of brought the queen of swords out of you. Like, okay, I have to not be so giving with my energy. Not be so giving with my, um, be so caring, period. Because everybody is not going to appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? What's this nine of cups in reverse? We got the justice. Yeah, this person was definitely emotionally vacant. What's this six of wands in the reverse? We got the ace of pentacles. Ooh. And what's this ace of pentacles? What's this ace of pentacles? Oh, we got the three of cups. <clears throat> we got the five of cups. We got the seven of wands. Oh my God. We got the nine of wands and we got the 10 of pentacles. With the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if this person was like, like this person head wasn't there. This person, their head definitely wasn't on love, okay? This person, like, didn't know how to really show it. And, like, they could have came off like they did. Like, you know, some people wear masks. You know what I'm saying? Change them every day. <laughs> um, but this person didn't know how to show it. Because they were so hung up on themselves. So hung up on what was going to work for them. What was it? You know, it was all about them. They really was not caring how you felt or how they made you feel as long as because they were getting that nurturing, that loving, that energy from you. So it's like sometimes people can get wrapped up so much into what you're giving them. They forget that they have to give back as well. You know what I'm saying? And not even forget because some people just fucking selfish. Some people just selfish. It's like it with this Ace of Pentacles, this Three of Cups. This person does feel regret. They do um, feel regret because they couldn't maintain this. They couldn't main. They couldn't. They didn't do right in in whatever this was. Whether you was just messing with this person, y'all was actually in a relationship. Y'all could have been married. Place the roles as they fit. Y'all know what to do. <laughs> but yeah, but you stood your ground. You know, you stood your ground with this nine of wands. You persevered, basically. What's this ten of pentacles? Oh, okay. We got a, that's too many. I'm not taking all these cards. That is too many. Okay. What's this ten of pentacles? What's this ten of pentacles? I'm loving this reading, y'all. It's all about you. This is Ten of Pentacles. We got the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry, the Six of Cups. I'm sorry. With the star. Like, this person knew that they could have a Ten of Pentacles with you. Because you had, you basically was a Nine of Pentacles. All you, all you needed was they one Pentacle and y'all could have had the Ten of Pentacles. And they're kind of regretting that now because they're kind of realizing that now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this, whatever this was, you you came out as this star. You always was. This transformed you 
actually, it, it, it's giving me a life lesson. You go through things in your life to grow. Some people go through things and don't want to grow and wonder why they keep going through the same cycles, through the same things. Because you didn't learn a lesson, you chose to keep repeating it. But whoever I'm talking to right now, you went through something that made you look at things differently. Everybody does not deserve all the love you have to give. And it's okay. It's okay. Because I know you could have felt really bad. I know you could have been really down. You know? And you have to go through that. You know? You have to go through that in order to learn. You know what I'm saying? Learning sometimes take pain. You know? And you, but you come out stronger on the other end and you know what not to do next. You know, next time I'm not going to be so giving next time. I'm not going to be so, um, you know, just give myself so fast, basically, because some of us are really nurturing. It's natural for us. You know what I'm saying? It's natural just to love, just to give, but it really depends on what lesson you go through in life because you can meet somebody that shows you that everybody doesn't deserve that part of you, if you get what I'm saying. What's this world in the reverse? Oh. I can't pick the card up, y'all. Oh, okay. We got the Nine of Pentacles. And what's the Nine of Pentacles? What's this nine of pentacles? Okay. What's this nine of pentacles? Change the deck? Okay. <sighs> I guess I gotta change the deck. Let's like say we down with that one. Okay. What is this nine of pentacles? Oh, okay. We got the hangman in the reverse. And we have the nine of wands. Yeah. You are very enlightened. Queen of swords at the bottom of the deck, baby. You are very enlightened of on how independent you are, how confident you are. Like, you look at yourself as... <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm not... <laughs> But um, you look at yourself as like you, you can you can get through anything. You can do anything you put your mind through. I mean, through to <laughs> this nine of wands coming out again. Like you're enlightened about this. You enlightened that you don't need somebody to complete you. If you want to do something, you're going to do it. You don't need somebody holding your hand every step of the way. If you get what I'm saying. You transform into this person. You still get that Queen of Cups energy inside. But you're now, now, <laughs> you're actually being very cautious on when you bring that out and who you bring it out to. Love it. Love it, y'all. I think I'm reading myself. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm reading myself, honey. What's the strength in the Knight of Wilds? We got the Ace of Wands. And what's the Ace of Wands? We got the Ten of Wands. So you are in the energy of, yes, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. A lot of fire energy out here as well. You are in an energy of chasing your goals, chasing your dreams. Um, you're in this brand new beginning and you're just pushing through whatever that comes in your way i love this y'all don't understand I, I love this i love this you have very great things that's coming to you it looks like whatever like nobody is gonna stop you from having this new beginning nobody is gonna stop it this is gonna be you pushing through anything to come through your way to get to that brand new beginning and i love it what's the ace of wands and the ten of wands 
We got the Four of Swords coming out. What's the Four of Swords? We got the Knight of Cups. And we have the Will of Fortune at the bottom of the day. You could have been in solitude for a while. Like, you know, you could have been in solitude. And when I say solitude, I mean by yourself. Wanting to be by yourself. Thinking. Um, you could have went through something very dramatic or you may look at it as dramatic. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I look at dramatic things it's like, okay, that didn't even need to happen. That was dramatic. You know, you could have been through something like that and you just had to sit back and think about things and just why things happened and what, you know what I'm saying? What what can I do to change this? I love this for y'all. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> What's this Knight of Cups though? You got the hermit coming out. You you actually really with the ten of cups. You actually did soul search. I love this, y'all. Let me stop saying that, but I do. I really, really do because you know we get a bunch of crazy reads. It's not all the time when we get these reads. Y'all are doing great. Y'all are doing great. This is this is lovely. This is giving me somebody has went through a big life lesson. And they passed it with flying colors. Now the universe is going to reward you. Reward you. That's what's going to happen. What's this hermit? We got the tower. We got the tower. After you saw her surge with the judgment, y'all, I cannot make this up. After you went in, okay, you went in, inside, <laughs> and you said, look, self, yourself said, huh? <laughs> y'all, I'm, I'm too jittery. I'm sorry, y'all. I am too much, y'all. Y'all should catch me off camera. It is, y'all, <laughs> crazy, okay? But yeah, y'all, y'all definitely changed, like, there is a tower after this, after the storm, it, it's, it's the sun, baby. It's the sun. What's this tower? What is this tower? We got the eight of wands coming out. Oh, I almost picked up everything. I'm sorry, Pooh. Picked up everything. We got the ace of cups coming out, and we also got the eight of wands. With the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. You are you're going to be loved. Like you, the universe is about to shower you with love in every aspect. Every aspect. But I think somebody wanna to come towards you as well with this um page of wands. Something good news. Maybe somebody. What's this Ace of Cups and this Eight of Wands? We got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And we got the Queen of Wands. We got the star at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. What is this? Because something is going on here. What's the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands? We got the Knight of Wands. And what's the Knight of Wands? We got the Two of Swords. The Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hold on, y'all. Somebody is like thinking that they, that good things is not coming. It is. It's coming. It could be taking a while. You could have thought about this before. This could have been a past type of thing and you see it now. But if you don't see it, it's coming. It's it's coming. What's this, what's this Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands? We got the High Priestess.
Somebody can also be indecisive about listening to their intuition as well. Don't be. Somebody also could be avoiding listening to their intuition. Don't be, okay? Your intuition will guide you. It will take you far. If you don't listen to your intuition, honey, baby, you're going to be in this type of energy, okay? And we don't want that. We don't want that. What's this uh, high priestess? We got the six of wands. And what's the six of wands? We got the lovers. We got the six of cups. Okay, so here we go again. Somebody's thinking about somebody from the past. Somebody is wondering if they should listen to their intuition when it comes to somebody, some, some type of love interest. What's going on here? What's this six of wands and the lovers? <laughs> we got the five of pentacles. In the higher thing. You're thinking about leaving this person in the past. And I feel like if your intuition is telling you to do so, then do so. Don't go against your intuition because you might op open up a door that you didn't want open. You feel me? What's this five of pentacles? Oh. <laughs> We got the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is really thinking about giving somebody another chance from their past. Eight of Cups in the reverse. We got the Eight of Cups in the reverse up here. Somebody is really thinking about giving somebody a chance from their past. With the High Priestess being here, listen to your intuition. I can't tell you yes or no. You know, I don't know. I don't know who the person from your past. But you're thinking about what it could be. And it also could be a family member as well. It could be a family member that you're thinking about, like, getting back in communication with or something like that. It also could be a love choice with the lovers being here. So you got to take it how it resonates. What's this Eight of Cups in the reverse? We got the moon in the reverse. And what's this moon in the reverse? We got the Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody you invested in with the strength. Somebody you spent a lot of time with. Somebody you invested in. And it could, it, this could be, I don't know if this is connected with this relationship that you actually learned from, but this could be somebody else that did not really, you know what I'm saying, do anything to you. In the effects of you not giving them a second chance. So you're somebody is really debating on giving someone a second chance. You feel like you invested a lot in this person. With the strength. Um, what's the seven of pentacles? With the ten of with the ten of pentacles. This could be a family member as well. With the death. Like, you might want to transform something with somebody. This could be a family member. We keep getting the tens. We got ten of pentacles here, ten of pentacles here. Keep getting ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. We got the ten of wands. Ten, ten, ten. Could be significant. That's a sign of completion, but... I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Only you know your story, you know? What's this ten of pentacles? Ooh. We got the seven of cups. Oh, we got three. We got the queen of uh, pentacles in the reverse. And we got the two of wands in the reverse. We got the six of swords. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck. So you did move away from whoever this is. This could be somebody who really... It's just all about money, all about what they can get, how they can get it. They probably use a lot of people to get it. They don't really have a plan with their life. Last few cards, and then I'm going to end it, y'all. But you did walk away from this person. I'm not sure if this is the reason why. But this person just don't have a path. They're just everywhere. 
they're, they're gonna go wherever the wind blows, it looks like. What's this Queen of Pentacles in, in the reverse and the Two of Wands in the reverse? We got the Five of Swords. I mean, Five of Wands. You could feel like all this person do is bring conflict. Again, again, Six of Swords at the bottom of the day. I don't know, y'all. Y'all walked away from it. I don't know. Maybe they, they, maybe they changed. I don't know. But only you would know that. You and your intuition. So, last card, last few cards. Let me clarify this Five of Swords. I mean, why do I keep calling this the Swords? Five of Wands. You feel like this person just bring conflict with the King of Swords. With the Fool. You feel like this person is foolish as well. Mm. So, yeah, y'all. This was a really good reading, y'all. I'm not going to keep pressing the issue, okay? But this is a really good reading, y'all. Y'all y'all, y'all doing y'all thing. Love it. Um, some, some of you do have a situation y'all need to figure out. And listen to your intuition. If it's not sitting right with you, if you're going to give somebody a second chance... They got one time, okay? They got one time to show... Shh, I'm, I'm going to speak for me. You got one time to show me that you're not trustworthy, that you're just playing games, that I don't have time, okay? And you shouldn't have time either. <clears throat> either you get with it or get lost, and that's just is what it is. But somebody is learning that. Somebody is learning that. I love this, y'all. I feel like I just read read, read me, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this is y'all reading, y'all. Y'all are doing great. I'm glad we got a good reading out because these readings has been crazy, y'all, okay? So keep up the good work, y'all. If ain't nobody told y'all, y'all the shit, y'all the shit, okay? <laughs> So make sure y'all like this video if you liked my vibe. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know how the message resonated, y'all. Because y'all are doing great. We are doing great. And we're going to continue to do great, okay? And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.